Welcome to the Fixed Player Picks for game weeks 36 and 37. At number 5 is our differential pick, Nacho Monreal. The Arsenal defender is currently owned by just 4.3% of overall teams and was in just 4.5% of the top 1,000 teams after the game week 35 deadline. Despite losing out in the North London derby last game week to a very good Spurs side, Arsenal have managed three wins from their last five games, also picking up two clean sheets in the process. Although the season as a whole has perhaps not gone as planned for Arsene Wenger's side, they've still managed to keep a total of 10 clean sheets so far, on par with Man City, and only six teams have kept more. The Gunners have recently moved to a 3-4-2-1 formation, with Monreal being used as either the left centre-back or the left wing-back, and his versatility in this formation suggests that his place in the starting lineup is fairly secure. In game week 36, Arsenal first host a Man United side that are now much more focused on the Europa League than the Premier League, and are expected to field a rotated side once again this weekend. Following that, it's an away trip to Southampton for Arsenal's second fixture in game week 36. Saints have conceded 8 goals during their last 6 games, only 6 teams have a worse record. Then, in game week 37, it's yet another double game week for the Gunners. They'll first take on a Stoke side that have fallen to 12th in the league table after managing just one win from their last five games, which came from a home game against Hull. And finally, Arsenal will host an already relegated Sunderland side for their second fixture in game week 37. Sunderland have conceded 10 goals during their last six games, only Middlesbrough have conceded more over that period. At number four, it's Gabriel Jesus. After returning from injury against Man United in game week 34, the Brazilian international earned a recall to the starting lineup for Man City's trip to Middlesbrough in game week 35. Jesus marked his return with a late goal to see his side rescue a point from the game. The Manchester City forward has now made six appearances in the Premier League, but has completed 90 minutes just three times, averaging around 50 minutes per game. Despite the lack of game time, Jesus has still been directly involved in five Premier League goals, scoring four times himself and providing one assist. In terms of underlying stats, the tally of five shots on target managed by Jesus during his six appearances is on par with the amount managed by Alexis Sanchez, Romelu Lukaku and Deli Alli in their last six games. Jesus has taken a total of 13 shots from inside the area during his six appearances, and in the last six game weeks, only five forwards have managed more. Negredo, Defoe, Costa, Benteke and teammate Sergio Aguero, who's managed an impressive 25 shots from inside the area during their last six game weeks. However, after appearing to suffer a groin injury during the 2 all draw with Middlesbrough, Sergio Aguero will now need a scan to determine whether he can take part in any of Man City's remaining games. The Argentines' absence would further cement Jesus in Man City's starting lineup. In game week 36, Man City host a Crystal Palace side that have now suffered back to back defeats following a 2 0 loss against Burnley last weekend. Big Sam's men have conceded 9 goals during their last 6 games, only Everton, Sunderland, and Middlesbrough have conceded more. Following that, it's a double game week for Man City in game week 37, where they'll host Leicester and West Brom. Leicester's 1 0 win over West Brom last game week ended a run of three games without a win for the Foxes. They've conceded seven goals during their last four games, only Middlesbrough have conceded more. Meanwhile, West Brom appear to have taken their foot off the gas after a very successful campaign. They've now failed to win any of their last five games and are on a four-game losing streak. At number three is Diego Costa. The Chelsea forward gave us a reminder of what he can do during Chelsea's 4-2 win over Southampton in game week 34, where he scored two goals and also provided one assist. Costa has been directly involved in 25 league goals for Chelsea, scoring 19 times himself and providing six assists. Only Harry Kane and Romelu Lukaku have scored more goals in the Premier League this season. Chelsea and Spurs continue to fight it out in the race for the Premier League title, with only four points separating the two sides so there'll still be plenty of motivation for Costa and Chelsea in the remaining games of the season. In game week 36, Chelsea host a Middlesbrough side that sit 19th in the Premier League table, but they have made a late surge to try and get out of the relegation zone, taking four points from their last two games against Sunderland and Man City. Despite that, however, no team have conceded more goals than Middlesbrough during their last six game weeks. They'll then be involved in a double game week in game week 37, travelling to an out of form West Brom side before hosting a Watford side that have lost three of their last four games. At 
At number 2 is Alexis Sanchez. Arsenal suffered a 2-0 defeat to Spurs in Game Week 35, which saw Alexis Sanchez continue his run of poor FPL returns. The Arsenal midfielder has now scored just one goal from his last six Premier League games. But despite his poor returns, Sanchez is still getting a good number of goal scoring chances. He's taken a total of 16 goal attempts during the last six game weeks, which is more than any other Arsenal player. For comparison, Meza Uzil has produced just three goal attempts during that period. Even the informed Deli Ali has only managed one more goal attempt than Sanchez during the last six game weeks. In fact, the five shots on target managed by the Arsenal man during this period is level with Deli Ali, although the Spurs midfielder has scored three goals compared to the one goal managed by Sanchez. With back to back double game weeks on the horizon for Arsenal, the Chilean international will have an advantage in the closing weeks of the season. Whether Sanchez can turn those extra minutes and extra goal scoring chances into goals is another matter, but it would take a brave FPL manager to go without the current top scorer in FPL for this period. First up in Game Week 36, Arsenal will take on a Man United side that are very much focusing on their Europa League commitments and have used a heavily rotated lineup for their recent Premier League matches, most recently seeing them draw one all with Swansea. Following that, it's an away trip to Southampton for Wenger's side. Saints have failed to win any of their last three Premier League games, conceding seven goals during defeats to Man City and Chelsea, before being held to a goalless draw by Hull last weekend. Then, in Game Week 37, it's a second double game week for Arsenal, as they first travel to an out of form Stoke side that have won just one of their last five games, before hosting bottom of the league Sunderland. And at number one is our headliner, Eden Hazard. The Chelsea midfielder provided an assist during the 3 0 win over Everton in Game Week 35 to see his incredible run of form continue. He's now been directly involved in six goals during his last six games, scoring four times himself and providing two assists. During the last six game weeks, only Gilfie Sigurdsson, Hyung Min Son, and Christian Eriksen have taken more shots on target than Hazard amongst midfielders. Meanwhile, the Belgian is ranked second for assist potential during this period, behind only Christian Eriksen, who's produced 21 attempted assists during the last six game weeks, compared to Hazard's 18 attempted assists. In game week 36, Chelsea hosts a Middlesbrough side that have conceded more goals than any other team in the Premier League during their last six game weeks. Following that, they have two fixtures in double game week 37. First, they face a West Brom side that have failed to win any of their last five games and are on a four game losing streak. Their second game in game week 37 will see them host Watford, a side that are comfortable in the league table on 40 points and have suffered three defeats in their last four game weeks, conceding seven goals over that period. Only Middlesbrough have conceded more. And remember, you can upload your current FPL squad into Fix for free to get customized stats and optimization tools. Use the world's first predicted lineup algorithm to identify the most probable starting lineup and squad formation for each Premier League team. First, select an upcoming fixture from the list of fixtures at the bottom of the page. You'll then be able to toggle between the home side and the away side in that chosen fixture. Our algorithm calculates the expected formation and gives you a starting probability for each player using a color code system in addition to providing a percentage. Hover over a player to view the alternative starting options for that same position and the probability of each of those players being named in a starting lineup. Improve your FPL performance with fixed predictive stats. Click the link in the description below to get started.